Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session part 2 on vector calculus. At first, we see some basics on vector algebra which we learned in our school. From that knowledge, we learned some basics on vector calculus. We learned what is mean by del, the Hamiltonian operator or del operator or vector differential operator. Then in the part 1 video, we started to find gradient, del phi, then n cap, unit outward normal vector. And then we find maximum directional derivative and dd, directional derivative from the given phi. In today's session, we are going to see some more different problems. Let us go into the session. Find the angle between two surfaces. So, the two surfaces are given in the question and the point of intersection is given to you. So, step 1, let us write the surfaces and take it as equation 1 and 2 and the point of intersection is given 2 minus 1, 2. So, now from this, I am going to rewrite this equation as x square plus y square plus z square minus 9 equal to 0. The second one, x square plus y square minus z minus 3 equal to 0. I am going to take the left hand side of the equation as function f. Therefore, my f is going to be x square plus y square plus z square minus 9. Similarly, g is going to be x square plus y square minus z minus 3. Now, for a given scalar, if I multiply with del, I can find a vector. So, I can get one vector for f and I can get vector for g and then I can find the angle between them using the cos theta formula. Let us go. So, to find the vector, we have to write del f. So, now make the table, write the function f and then the points. Now we have to find dou f by dou x, dou f by dou y, dou f by dou z. So it is going to be 2x, 2y, 2z. Now when you substitute the points, we can see the values. It is going to be 2 into 2, x value is 2. Then dou f by dou y, 2 into minus 1, it is minus 2. Dou f by dou z, 2 into 2. Therefore, my vector which I form from the scalar f is going to be del f that is 4i vector minus 2j vector plus 4k vector. This is my del f. Similarly, we have the second equation given to us. We will take this as g and then we have to find dou g by dou x, dou g by dou y, dou g by dou z. As like the first formula, we have 2x partial differentiation 2y minus 1. Now, substituting the corresponding values, we get 2 into 2, 4. For dou g by dou y, I will get 2 into minus 1, minus 2. And dou g by dou z is going to be minus 1. That is simply minus 1. Therefore, we have to write the gradient of g vector. 4i vector minus 2j vector minus k vector from the table. Now, two vectors are ready. I want to find the angle between them. So, angle between them is going to be simply cos theta. In school days, we have learned a dot b divided by mod a vector, mod b vector. Now, cos theta, instead of a vector, we have del f. Instead of b vector, we have del g divided by mod of del f and mod of del g will give you the angle between these two vectors. Now, we have to calculate mod del f and mod del g. So, mod del g is going to be 4 square, 2 square, 1 square. I said, don't bother about negative. It is going to be always positive when you square. So, what we have? 16 plus 4 plus 1. So, we have root 21. For del f, modulus of del f is going to be 4 square plus 2 square plus 4 square. So, 16 plus 4 plus 16. So, 32 plus 4, 36, root 36. Now, let us write the formula. Now, we know that del f, del g values, mod del f, mod del g, everything. Substitute here. Now, we have to do the dot product. I, I, I can do the dot product. Similarly, j, j and finally, k, k. Now, when you do the dot product, here the denominator is root 36, root 21. 4 into 4, 16. Minus into minus plus, 22, 4. And then 4 into minus 1 is minus 4. So, 16 divided by 6, root 21. So, the angle between these two vectors are approximately 8 by 3, root 21. Now, finally, I want to find the angle. So, theta is equal to cos inverse of 8 by 3 root 21. 
that's it students let us go into the next problem show that the surface is 5x square minus 2yz minus 9x equal to 0 and 4x square y plus z cube minus 4 equal to 0 or orthogonal at the point 1 minus 1 2 what is the meaning of this these two surfaces cut perpendicular or the angle between these two surfaces is going to be 90 degree now we have to prove this you just remember our formula is a vector dot b vector divided by mod a mod b here instead of a vector and b vector we have two surfaces i am taking this as f and taking this as g from this i can find del f for a given scalar and similarly for a given scalar g i can find del g so we are writing this as del f dot del g divided by mod del f mod del g so now if two surfaces are perpendicular then the angle between them is 90 degree so when i take cos 90 degree or cos pi by 2 it is going to be zero therefore i don't want to find modulus and all from this result if you simply prove that del f dot del g is equal to zero because from this result we get cos 90 is zero if you prove that del f dot del g equal to zero then these two surfaces are cut orthogonal so now let us Take the given surfaces as 5x square minus 2yz minus 9x equal to 0 and then we will take this as simply f and the next equation the left hand side we take this as g and we can write this as f and g. So now if you found or if you prove that del f dot del g equal to 0 then we can say these two surfaces are orthogonal. Let us go into the problem as usual. Make two tables find del f del g and take the dot product if my dot product is going to be zero that means my answer the scalar is going to be zero then we will conclude that these two surfaces are orthogonal to each other okay let us go into the table as you shall first write f then points find dou f by dou x it's going to be 10x minus 9 dou f by dou y minus 2z remaining term no y dou f by dou z minus 2y substitute the points and you can get the answer very easily you can see the substitution now gradient of f or del f is ready i vector minus 4j vector plus 2k vector next in the similar way we have to find for g write the table and then we have to find dou g by dou x it is going to be 8xy remaining term 0 then dou g by dou y so 4x square remaining terms are 0 dou g by dou z we get 3z square now we have to substitute the values 1 into minus 1 minus 8 for dou g by dou y 4 into 1 square 4 dou g by dou z 3 into 2 square 12 now i can write the gradient del g equal to minus 8i vector plus 4j vector plus 12k vector done so step 4 we have to compute it del f dot del g dot product of two vectors now we remember the rule i dot i j dot j k dot k alone will work i with i this is done then j with j this is done and finally k with k so therefore del f dot del g is going to be minus 8 minus 16 plus 24 now when you add this you can get minus 24 plus 24 it is exactly zero therefore the angle between these two surfaces are 90 degree thus two surfaces cut orthogonally at 1 comma minus 1 comma 2 thanks for watching hope you found this video helpful subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends see you in the next video bye bye